you tell us how Nathan's doing uh, with the injury? Well, yeah, I mean, Nathan, it's like, I spent with Nathan about, yeah, let's say seven years, five, seven, I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, and he was ready for this event. He could be a top six as well, mm -hmm. easily. Uh, unfortunately, he gets injured. And the reason is, uh, he gets injured every year, basically. He got uh, bronze medalist in the, at World Championships with cast on his hand. He had cast. Mm. Who can get uh, on podium have cast? Yeah. Well, how that happened? I went to Olympics. He stayed by himself. He fall down, hit ice, broke his here. You know, right. and uh, what, how I can prevent that? So I understand he's motivated, over motivated, okay. and I love it. I am over motivated. He is over motivated. He's surrounded more over motivated, which is good. We want to win, but maybe we need to like kind of manage ourselves better. Mm. Maybe I must manage myself better. Maybe he needs to listen me better. So that's uh, if we will get to right solution, then hope he will get medal at Olympics. If we will not, so it will disappear. Go. It will get to nowhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But he is very, very strong. Very strong base. Everything is done. We need to learn how to manage. Yeah. At the U.S. Nationals, you were quite outspoken that, that his technical elements weren't given, I believe, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but they weren't given enough credit by the judges, and you, you felt that he should have... <coughs> no, I, I, no, no, about judges, let's we put it that way. Uh, talking judges, mm -hmm. I don't judge judges. I'm not that person who judge judges. I train athletes. Okay. Judges judge, I train athletes, mm -hmm. athletes skates, simple. Yep. Everybody does his job. Mm -hmm. Whenever we're talking, let's get back to Ashley. I felt myself, Ashley did great short program, didn't get close to, I mean, he was she was close to top three, but in my case, she, her program was like, everything was there, artistic, elements, right? Yeah, but it was she, amazing. It, it was, it was amazing. amazing. Everybody came to me and started, Rafael, she did very well, she had to be first. I said, it's not my business. My business to put her on ice and do great program. Mm -hmm. Judges must judge. It's not my business. I'm not talking judge. So with Nathan, what happened to Nathan, uh, he did six quotes, two in, in short, four in long. long. Yep. And judges put him at third place. So I said, Rafael, so you need to do something about it. Maybe think about it and make him skate better. Maybe like do something and next time he will get what he wants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what my job, mm -hmm. not to judge judges. Oh, judges was wrong and th then, then what? Then what do you come with? Mm -hmm. So what do you come uh, uh, like high? hire mafia to kill them or what <laughs> you know like it's not your business yeah. you do you find why that happened mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, there was a lot of buzz that nathan should have done better maybe if it didn't come from, like there, there were media and there was uh, criticism of the judging mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that nathan should have rated higher mm -hmm. and that adam maybe mm -hmm. didn't didn't, uh -huh. didn't deserve uh -huh. well, as the coach of both these guys, how did that feel when you got back to the rink and back to the training? Was there any awkwardness? Was it difficult? No, no. no but and Adam see, was a real gentleman in terms of crediting yeah. you know, all the good things that Nathan see, does. See, 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 that's what I'm talking. See, like, now, now we got to point whenever we're talking like real stuff. Judges want to see performance if I, and I deliver performance. Judges want to see uh, good jumps. I deliver good jumps. Mm -hmm. Pick it. Right. So do they motivate each other? Yes, yeah, yeah, sure they motivate each other. I would recommend, uh, I always recommend uh, to have sparring partner. 
every sport has sparring partner. Mm -hmm. Figure skating kind of more like, oh, I don't want to skate there, I don't want to skate here, you know, because of she skates there, or I don't feel that way hmm. at all. Skate. So you hide in your small pond, and then you get to like warm up, and there is still them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So why are you afraid to train with them? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So in that case, on the women's side, would you like to see another top woman? Yeah, sure, kind of sure. To I to help push Ashley. But and, basically, and I'm going. Well. I'm going to talk to them about it. That's what I want. I would love to have more athletes next to them. I would basically love. Ted, I would basically love to have my own um, uh, spot, mm -hmm. some ice ring, and I would shut the doors. You want to tell exactly? I will tell you exactly what I want. Okay. So I want to have my own, own ring. Yep. Uh, our managers who would say, Rafael, can you come and train here? And I would invite athletes, I would shut the doors, and I would start to get ready for Olympics, if it would be possible. But mm -hmm. it's never possible. Well, hey, never say never. Ashley made it onto the podium. And yeah, it's never possible. Never. It's okay. no, yeah, yeah, just guys, I'm here. <laughs> I'm ready for it. It's never possible. I, I would shut the doors. Like, uh, guy, remember that Olympic guy, uh, uh, Pipe, Sean, Sean? Uh, Sean White. Before Olympics, what did he do? Remember, he built his own pipe facility. He, he was flying there, got one trick, and beat everybody again. Mm. He he hides that trick; nobody could see that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then he got on next Olympics, and he won again with this one. Right. right. And that's basically what you must do whenever you're talking. What what else? What else? You know, facility and your place, you can create your own philosophy. You can create your own type of warm-ups. Yep. You can do stuff which nobody can see. And then you come up and then you deliver that. And then it's, wow! And then it's too late. Right. Till they say, wow, it's too late. Yeah, yeah. But that's what basically I would do. But I, I it never will happen. I, that could happen in Russia, but I mean, I like to be in States. Well, and I was going to ask you, when you say, you know, have a facility that nobody can see, based on your insights, what do you think is happening in Russia? What is the coaching, what are the training <laughs> conditions that are producing no, such well, incredible... I, I am not thinking, I know why I'm thinking, I know how that works, and I was part of it. I had my student at Salt Lake City Olympics, uh, he got fifth, but he got fifth with uh, like monsters of skating. Mm. He good in Plushenko, uh, Gable, Gable? Gable, I mean, Eldridge, yeah, 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 Eldridge, Eldridge Strike, I mean, he got fifth there, you know, and uh, he was number three in Russian uh, team. Do you understand what means number three whenever you get to Olympics? You're always like... Uh, You're, no one thinks of you. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about Alexander Ash. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. And he got fit there. I mean, it was big success for him. After all these problems, he had long sure. legs. He had long legs. He was different guy, difficult. I was not that, uh, that smart yet. You know, unfortunately, maybe if now I could do better. Uh, so I was younger and not that... Uh, experience mm -hmm. okay so uh, and uh, I know how it works in Russia I know what they do there is centers based on uh, high-level coaches mm -hmm. and they gurus in that places what we have in Russia in in the US do you have any place where uh, uh, I would get and say I'm a guru just you must do as I said we don't have that. Mm. We what we have, we will have public uh, skating, you know, and then we put Ferraris there, and they cannot drive. Right. They they fast and they don't drive. I had a, one time. I had a few years ago, year ago, I had a problem in my ring. Manager came to me, and he said, she said, manager, yeah. and she said, laughing and smiling, but I mean. 
I must tell you that, Rafael, I'm sorry, I must tell you that, but some parents are complaining, your skaters are skating very fast and jumping too high, and they make them scared, those kids are get scared of them. And I said, you know what, my friend, that's my job. Can you imagine that? Is it, no is it normal? His normal manager comes to you and laugh. yeah, she laughed. She's nice, right. nice yeah. girl, but she said, "Oh, the, uh, your skaters are jumping too high and too high, and, too and, and too fast, and kids are get scared." So they probably don't say that. In, <coughs> they probably don't talk about that in Russia. What do you mean? They don't make people. But, but they, yeah. or, or, <coughs> that's that's, that's my problem. job. Yeah. that's yeah. my job that makes them fast and jump higher. Yeah. Otherwise, why I'm working? So what do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. I said, what do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I, I had to tell you that. That's it. <laughs> that was nice, but still tension. Mm -hmm. It's still tension. My last question for you: Does the success of your skaters, Adam and Ashley, uh, here at the World Championships, how does that help set them up for next season, which then helps to put them in prime position? Nothing. Nothing helps. 2018. It does not. Helps. It does not help at all. Why? Why that helps? It's a, it's more pressure. I think it's a, it's a more pressure, and I, I do you think I will have better facility or what? Who is going to give me? You maybe? <laughs> Come on, do it, uh, please. Can you? I, if I could, I would. If yeah, I could, but I would. you 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 know. So, so who? Who will do it? Is there some uh, mechanism which will say, oh, you did so well, I will going to give you ice ring, mm. and you will you will start to do it. Who will do it? Is there a person? Do you know name? Let me go to him. But we'll, 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 we'll put the call out. Where? Oh, come on, guys. Yeah, yeah. open your wallet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just Let's give me a place. Time. Give me a place. I will start to work. I will create my own philosophy. I will bring coaches there. I will bring young kids, visa coaches. I will, I'm, I'm almost 60, 58. And how much time I have? Another maybe seven years, right? Well, John but, Nix. <coughs> no, 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 here, stop. You it's until you... <coughs> I'm sorry, till you produce. Right. And I, uh, then uh, uh, who said I'm going to work that, that long? Maybe I don't want. Well, we hope so. Yeah, yeah maybe, so. maybe I don't want. So what I want is I would take a, uh, care of uh, raising coaches, mm -hmm. raise, raise a new generation with new philosophy of coaches, with new philosophy of skaters, okay. and try to make them to become, to dream Olympics okay. from the beginning. I guess what I meant is that Ashley would presumably have a lot more confidence now. I mean, she's already quite confident, but she's got the silver medal. Hear, hear me out, hear me out. She's got the silver medal now, and her component scores have been creeping up higher and higher and higher as she skated more consistently internationally, which says to me that next season... Doesn't matter. Really it's over. This day. season is over. New season, it's new season, and you don't know how it will affect if there is no facility, there is no philosophy underneath, if there is no coaches, and there is nothing under. That's why after this, this is done. Era gone. Okay. It's new day, new era from from beginning. It's new. Everything. Nothing here. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Mm -hmm. And that's why I want to talk to them and say, guys, it's much tougher. And I must first decide if I want to do it. Right. You asking me what? I just didn't decide yet. I want to do it or not. Mm. In other two years, maybe not. Mm because of, uh, to go to Olympics, I don't want to look there like an uh, outsider. Right. I want to go to Olympics and start to again compete and win, and I cannot see yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I cannot see, I did my best now. Right. I sacrifice so much, yeah, yeah. you just don't know. Yep. But I sacrifice so much. I went to Colorado Springs before nationals, I left all my family at home, no Christmas, no New Year Eve. I finished my job at 9 o'clock p.m. Mm -hmm. before New Year Eve. Till I drive there, I came home, came to a uh, place I stayed alone. Right. And went to bed to wake up to next day. And as usual, Russians celebrate New Year very like, like in Europe, you yeah. know, like yeah. family and stuff, mm -hmm. waiting till 12 o'clock. Champagne and they, I didn't have anything like that. Right, right. You understand? It's just too tough. I, I pull out of, you know, nothing what they did. Mm -hmm. I pull out of nothing. I just 
push myself too hard to make it happen, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and I don't want to do that. Mm. I want to have normal life. I want to have at least facility where I could do that. Sure. Raphael, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations again. This is Ted Slut with Golden Skate with Raphael Aratunian. Thank you. Whoa, you did again. <laughs> <laughs> you made it.